After three years of having a 3D printer and using Fusion 360 to make my own models, I thought about sharing the things that I made which I use in my everyday life. And maybe you can consider making your own. All the files are in the description section of this video if you want to print them. Most of these parts are very simple, but the advantage is that we can have the shape and dimension that we want. For example, I was looking for a phone holder exactly like this one, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to make my own. Same thing happened with the holders for my tapes, which have different sizes and they fit the grill of the shelf perfectly. In my bathroom shelves, I made these bins and holders. The toothbrush holder wasn't really necessary because they are available to buy anywhere. But again, with 3D printing, we have the freedom of having our own design. Even a simple hook can have a very specific design. This one leaves some separation from the base to leave space to grab the hair comb easily. And the hook is very short to prevent it from getting stuck. Sometimes very small parts can solve problems. In this case, my tool bag has these rings that I wanted to use for putting my small wrenches. But they are too thin, so I made a set of these spacers. To help organize drawers, there are many bins and separators that you can buy, but having the possibility to customize it to fit your needs and the dimensions of the specific drawer is much better. Of course, a very popular use of 3D printers is to make small figures for decoration. So far, I only made this one from the movie Spirit Away. Somehow, I cannot find a figure like this with the right proportions. That's why I had to make it by myself. If you're annoyed by a trash can that moves around, using a simple base with double-sided tape can solve that problem. These labels for the filament spools are very simple and useful. And for Arduino projects, being able to make your own case really makes a difference. These are just a few examples, and one that I see every day is this automatic blind motor that opens the blinds when there's daylight using a light sensor, and closes at night. I like this model kit that I bought, but it didn't come with a stand. Not a problem, a few minutes of modeling solved that. Remember that I put all the files in the description, including the files for Fusion 360 so you can modify the designs freely. The cables for charging devices, like phones, can turn into a mess, so this simple retractable system hides them behind the nightstand. I bought these bins for the drawers, but they left some empty space on the side that I took advantage of by creating a holder for my watches. I use TPU filament, which is a flexible material for 3D printers. Another thing printed in this flexible material is this flash dry holder that opens to get better access. Interestingly enough, the 3D printer can build upgrades for itself, which in my case I took a few designs from the internet and some others I made by myself. Probably the best one is this scale for the spool holder. Sometimes some products like this flashlight has some kind of flaw in their design. Nothing that some 3D printing can't fix. You can even make lamps if you know what you're doing. Just remember to use a light bulb that doesn't heat up too much and create vents for cooling. And there's so much more that we can do with 3D printers. Drawer handles, guitar pick holder, helping maximize storage space in the closet, custom made rubber feet, a basket for the mops used by the vacuum robot, a tray for the toolbox, and even a basic cover for the cables can make your home look neater. 
The possibilities are endless, so if you're thinking of buying a 3D printer, as you can see, it can be a great tool for improving your home. Especially if you learn how to 3D model, which looks hotter than it really is. I recommend the software Fusion 360 because it's really easy to use and very powerful, but there are many others that you can try. I hope this video gave you ideas on what to make next, and please share your designs so others can enjoy them too. I would like to thank my sponsor PCBWay, where they can take your designs and make them into a real PCB. I find their service very useful and is quite affordable. Anyway, good luck and see you on the next video. Bye bye.